there's another video that I wanted to put together for you uh, in regards to next-gen production basics. Now, NextGen handles all the audio for all of our automation systems, and not only do people put commercials in, but people dub in songs or perhaps pieces of um, imaging or other things, even voice tracks, uh, and uh, this applies to all of those pieces of audio. Uh, what I want you to do is take a look here. Uh, we're going to open up uh, NextGen, and uh, in the production room, when you're creating a spot or a song or a piece of SAG or a promo or whatever it is, you're going to go use this thing called the Wizard Editor. The Wizard Editor screen looks like this. We're going to load the audio from the last session. Now, sometimes you won't need to load the audio from the last session, but in this case, I have a piece of audio ready to go. Um, the red arrow always points to the track that you're using, and these three tracks right here correspond to the whiz bars on your board. So, if, for instance, if you put it in queue, or perhaps you use the pots in there in production one, in, uh, production one or two, it uh, depends on which one you're using. This one would normally come across on Wiz 2, okay, just because it's in the center of the track. Uh, again, um, you double click to move the cursor around. Spacebar plays the audio. And of course, S or stop stops the audio. The left bracket key on the keyboard puts a marker down. See it there? And the right bracket key puts the other marker down. That way, if you have a specific piece after you've zoomed in, you can find a little spot, you can put a marker down, hit the B key for best fit, zoom out and find where you want to go, hit the left key and you can highlight the audio. The other option is to um, drag with both mouse buttons, that'll do it too. You can actually drag and highlight multi um, both pieces of audio at the same time. It's looking for the other uh, bracket there. You can put the bracket on either side if you want. Um, the other option is to right click and drag. So for instance, if you have a piece of audio, and we'll do this, the equals sign highlights all of the audio. Control C and Control V still paste. But if you have two pieces of audio and you're actually putting them together, you can actually right click and drag that piece of audio down to the end of the other one. The B key best fits for the screen, and so I can actually line them up. Now on this one, you'll actually uh, not see the mix down uh, button here because I'm in the utility machine and it doesn't have sound cards. But you get the idea. You can actually move this piece of audio to line up wherever you need it to go, click mix, play from the beginning, and mix your levels down to the third track. So of course this one would come across Wiz 1, this one would come across Wiz 2, and then of course your mix down would be in Wiz 3. When you're finished with your mix down, always remember to hit the X key to go down to the mix down track. Uh, but one thing I want to cover before we finish that is on the audio. If you'll notice, there's this white line. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. This white line here, you see that? That is actually representative of 100% uh, on your VU meter. So if you have the little VU meter going, you want it to be around 0 or 100% audio. Now, anything above that, like these peaks here, and I'll show you that too, goes above the line, which means when we're actually playing the audio, it'll show in the VU meters above the line, and it's a little too hot. But what if you don't know if it's too hot or not? Well, NextGen has you covered there too. If you click the edit screen and compute the clipping for the, the piece of audio, it gives you a couple of pieces of information. Actually, there's three pieces of information in this little window. The first thing is that there's no clipping. Now, clipping means that not only is it above 100%, but it's above the range that the audio can handle in NextGen. And that means it'll actually clip the audio out. Now, there's no audio clipping because we don't actually max out the audio uh, responder here. The second piece of information is audio over 100%. Well, there's 5% of this audio that's over 100%. And basically, that's these little ticks here where it went over 100%, and it calculates the entire length of the audio. So, for instance, if you have an hour's worth of audio, you get a little bit more leeway in terms of that percentage because, well, it's a lot more audio. Uh, 30 seconds, though, we want this percentage to be about 3%. Anything uh, over that is, you know, um, not acceptable. We really want to keep that number as low as possible. The third thing it gives you is whether or not the audio checks out okay. Now this particular piece of audio does. It checks out okay, which means we can mix it down, click exit, it puts it in there, and we can actually see it there. And notice it has video and you can see it just fine. If you ever pick up a piece of audio and for some reason or another you see it all the way red, solid, with nothing at the top, Chances are it's probably too hot. You can also pick up a piece of op, uh, audio and look at it this way. We'll, we'll load this audio in. 
and notice that it looks great. You know, hit the B key. You can also find out, you just click Compute Clipping, and it says it checks out okay. Uh, if you ever see when you're voice tracking that the audio is all the way in the red, it may be a good idea to go in there and either alert the brand manager of that station that the audio is too hot, or if it's a commercial or a piece of imaging, uh, notify uh, David McCart. And that way you can actually get that audio nice and clean um, so that you don't have one that's really, really loud and then another one after in the commercial blocks that's really, really quiet. Same thing for songs. That's called disparity. We don't want a lot of disparity on there. Um, so we want everything basically the same volume or amplitude in there. Uh, any other questions about uh, next-gen production, you can always ask me or send me an email or just see me in the halls. Thanks.